guys welcome back to my channel today is day three of the zero waste challenge and today's challenge is to reduce fast food from your consumption and your everyday life so with that said let's get started so fast food not only produces a lot of trash but it's also really unhealthy for you so I am going to give you some tips on how to meal plan as an alternative to consuming fast food so ideally on Sundays, Adam and I usually just talk about the meals that we're gonna have and sometimes I'll either go on Pinterest to get ideas or look at Instagram for beautiful food ideas. And last but not least, I usually just look at recipes from books. These books I checked out at the library last week. Um, so we'll go through either books or whatever method we use to get inspired for new meals for the week. And then from there, what I do is write down um, the meals that we're going to have into a board that we have near our uh, kitchen. So this is what it looks like. So we have this board right here and sometimes it has a lot of more information but this is normally what it would look like and it just has like a little magnets with like the days of the week. And it just goes Monday through Friday and we'll, I'll usually just have whatever I have for dinner I'll have has leftovers for lunch. Um, and it just kind of goes that way. Sometimes it just varies. On Friday nights, we usually go out to dinner or sometimes we'll just have leftovers. It just depends. So the meals that we keep on there um, are usually just mine or Adam might have something similar even though he's not vegan. Uh, we He tries to eat either what I, like what we're making or try to incorporate something similar. Um, sometimes it's completely different. He keeps track of his own um, menu sometimes on my board or somewhere else it just depends on the day sometimes it might say soup on tuesday but we might end up eating a salad it just depends on what we're doing how busy we are and things like that so after we have that all written down we'll we'll go ahead and look at the ingredients that we have here to see if we could use anything to make those if we have it then obviously we won't buy it if we do if we do need it then I normally just go ahead and create a checklist on my phone Adam also makes one on his phone that we share together um, and then we'll just go shopping and then prep our prep our meals I know some people go ahead and prepare their meals on Sundays and they have it ready for the whole week we don't normally do that we cook maybe a day a day and a half in advance I'm not the type of person that likes to eat the same thing every day I know that a lot of meal planning people do and that's okay I find that variety works better for me so we tend to prepare food like I said a day a day and a half in advance um, and we just rotate what we're having throughout the week um, we are not super strict with the way that we have our meal set like i said whatever just works best sometimes i have taekwondo and i don't have time to cook something so i'll have whatever is faster to eat um adam is also super helpful sometimes he'll start cooking something for me and then i'll just come home and finish it that way um we're able to coordinate so by going grocery shopping and prepping your meals or at least having a good understanding about what you're gonna have for lunch and or dinner you're able to not go and get fast food I know sometimes it's tempting you're hungry it's easier um, what also helps is making sure you have snacks around the house I'm someone that always is like I don't have enough snacks or I'm hungry and then that's when I get tempted to go get um, fast food I have a really fast metabolism so I get hungry pretty fast really easily that even when I eat like probably 30 minutes or an hour later I like I'm hungry again so having snacks really helps um, we have fresh fruit we have some nuts some chips um, we also have granola bars and sometimes we make you know like paleo cookies or for Adam or like vegan cookies for me so it just depends it's just a matter of you know being conscious about when you're out and just making that decision that you don't want to get fast food I know sometimes people are really busy and they don't have like any options so I guess what you can do um, in that case if you have to get fast food it's just a matter of maybe just saying that you don't need the bag when they give you um, your stuff or trying to keep keep it at a minimal when you're getting the utensils or you know maybe just grabbing one napkin instead of like a whole bunch um, I know like when I do go to fast food places and I may ask for ketchup they'll give me like and I literally just say like I just need one packet like I don't need more 
and sometimes I'll hand you more and I'll just give it back but it's just a matter of just letting people know and making it aware that you're just trying to not create that much trash and like I said not we're not perfect and it's just a matter of just being conscious about what you're doing I hope that my little routine about meal planning helps you obviously I didn't go into like cooking something or how we put stuff away or how we pack things but that's really the routine I get for getting inspired with my meals I just go on Pinterest and Instagram or look at books that I checked out from the library sometimes there's other websites or you know my friends share a recipe with me and we just want to try it we look at what we need and what we have and make a list and then just go out and get it so it's it's really simple it's just a matter of sticking with it and making an effort so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye